How's it going everyone? I'm Kev and this is North Coast Workshop. Today's video we'll be doing a cam follower inspection on my Mark II Leon Cupra R with the 2 liter TFSI engine. The cam follower seems to be a hot topic on these engines. How often is it replaced? Does it need to be replaced every time you service the car? Should it be replaced every 10,000, 20,000, 100,000 miles? So I'm not going to say what's right or wrong. All I know is that if the car has been heavily tuned that tends to create more wear on the cam follower and if the engine oil has been changed often, like every service, then that should help the wear and tear and make the cam follower last a lot longer. Apologies, I'm a bit choked with a cold. <clears throat> it's not coronavirus, it's not even man flu, it's just a bog standard kind of sore throat and snotty nose. So I apologise if I'm kind of coughing throughout this video. Anyway, also if you follow me on Instagram, I've just posted recently a picture of the camera that I'm using right this very minute the Canon G7X Mark II. So I've tried to maybe upgrade my camera setup for my YouTube videos. So let me know down below if the picture quality looks any better. I can't say the video content will be any better, that's up to me personally. But picture quality might improve now having this kind of fancier camera setup rather than using my mobile phone which I'll be using for the last 20 videos or so. Anyway, if you enjoy this video then please hit the thumbs up button, it'd be much appreciated and really helps me out. I'm going to go for a goal of 5 likes. 5 likes for this video and um, mum I know you watch these videos at home so you better be hitting that thumbs up button as well. Also if you enjoy the content and want to catch more videos from North Coast Workshop then hit subscribe down below. You may have seen there was a wee bit of footage of my trainers in the opening sequence for this video. That will be to wind the missus up because she can't stand the state of those trainers. They're my comfy adidas ones that I use for the guards, cutting grass. Sometimes I go out in public, hold my hands up and I don't do it, I don't do it on purpose but I accidentally go out in public with them and she goes off the head so yeah I was just wanting to put my wee scabby trainers in the start of that opening sequence to wind her up because I know that will make her mad seeing them on a video Grinch in the movies, I've been a part-time shadow cat, part-time, that is not a guy that I would ever want to try to battle rap, snap, crack a pop, mind fried to a crisp, make an MC into a wide-eyed lunatic. So enough of my chatting, uh, let's get stuck into this car and get this cam floor inspection done. Oh, and stick around to the end of the video, where I'll be doing a quick bit of information regarding a post on Instagram for this giveaway I'm doing for my subscribers. So yeah, catch that at the end of this video. So I'll just run through a few things you'll need for this job. So I've got some pliers here, 10 mil socket and 10 mil spanner. That's for my engine cover because it's not standard to remove these three bolts and to remove the pipe off the header tank because it's put through the engine cover as well. So you might not need these items. Then I've got a small ratchet with an 8 mil socket on the end of it. That's to take off the jubilee clips on my ear intake. Magnetic dish to keep, the best, keep bits and pieces safe when you're taking them off the engine. Got this wee peck tool to relieve the pressure on the valve on the high pressure fuel pump, but you can equally use just a small flat headed screwdriver as well. 17 mil spanner and a 13 mil spanner. These are for the fixings on the fuel pump itself. Then you've got your torque wrench to put the three bolts back in at the correct torque settings with a wee adapter and a T30 torque bit. Then you have your LED inspection lamp and a wee LED magnetic torch as well. These are just to check for leaks and make sure there's no fuel leaking out of the system. And then finally, just an old rag of some sort. This is to catch fuel when you take fuel out of the, the valve when you release the pressure, but also as you're moving the fuel pump around once you remove it, you'll find a bit of fuel does come out of the system. And that's it. I'll leave a list down below in the description of these pieces as well. So a side note guys, if you've got the original engine cover like this, put it in roughly where it should go, you want to disconnect the intake piping that goes into here, disconnect the hoses down here, so this hose is still here, this one here, take away from the clips, once you undo the clips here for the turbo intake and take away the multi-plug for the MAF sensor, 
what's holding it in place is these four grommets, one, two, three, four, and it should be coming off every year for your service for the air filter. And these start to take a grip on the fixings that are on the engine. Where are they? There they are, there and there, and then there's two at the back as well. And with the heat of the engine and rubber grommets, they tend to kind of seal themselves onto these fixing points. So if you're putting this back on afterwards, I would put grease back in these grommets just so that next time it comes off, the fixing's a lot easier.
Then make it a microphone, damn.